Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. This video is sponsored by Mattel. We're going to take a look at the Mega Bloks Moto Attack Sets for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We got Bebop and Rocksteady. Let's take a look at the Bebop set first. As you can tell, it comes with Casey Jones. It's nice to have a package with a hero and a villain. It's got some type of feature to where it lights up. We'll be checking that out. Hey, what's this? Uh, this must be for something in the store. You take it out. Oh, there's the light-up feature. They have that little thing to save the batteries. There's your figures. This is intended for ages 6 and up. It has 82 pieces. On the back, you see Casey Jones and Bebop with some accessories. We have a little stop sign and a chopper. Very good. We're going we're gonna to get to build a chopper. Uh, look, you touch it and it lights up. Oh, you get vibration and it'll light up. Hey, that's kind of cool. This way it doesn't drain the batteries. It only turns on when you're playing with it. That's, that's a good idea. Here you can collect all the other toys. And they have a website too for more information if you'd like to check it out. I'll have links in the description as well. Now for Rocksteady, you get a hero and a villain as well. There's Leo. We have a little light up here. Oh, pretty cool. This one's red. This was uh, kind of greenish yellow. And this one's red. Again, age 6 and up. 86 pieces. The other one had um, 82. This one has a few more pieces to put together. On the back, there's a look at the accessories that should be in this set. And collect them all. Have fun with your toys. I already cut the tape, but let's get everything out now. There's a bag of parts. There's our exhaust for our chopper right there. Instructions. You're gonna have to have wheels for the uh, wheels for the bike. There's Casey Jones hockey stick right there. Nice little information booklet. Lots of different toys. Oh, instructions. Gonna need that just to be sure. Come out, come out. This will make it easier. There we go, there's all our parts. And there's our characters. Even though Bebop comes put together in the package, if you want to take them apart, you can. Look at all those parts. And it's because he has so many parts, that's how they can give him so much articulation. Check it out. You can move his wrists. You can move his elbows. You can move his shoulders. You can remove his head. Oh, sorry, dude. You can move his head. And, of course, on the other side, got a, a uh, hip. You can move him at the hips, move him at the knees, ankles. No, nah, no ankles. But still, that's a lot. Nice hair, dude. Sorry, I messed up your mohawk. Let me get it straight. Uh, much better. In the picture, you can see that you can remove his vest. I'm going to leave it on for right now. Let's go ahead and give him his weapon. With all those articulating parts, it made it really easy for me to get him to stand up. Let's go ahead and take a look at Casey Jones. As you can see, he has all the same articulating parts. I went ahead and gave him his accessory. Uh, there's his vest, and here's his head. Now let's get on to the chopper. Hey, check it out. The headlight's a skull. <laughs> nice touch, very nice touch. I'm just going to show you a few pieces of the uh, put together. You don't want to see me put, you don't want me to do every uh, single part. It's going to take forever. Let's just get this part put on. Here's your light up skull for a headlight. Ooh. I put on a few of the parts. You have foot pegs. This part right here. Now we're going to make it look like one bad ride. You got to get those exhaust pipes on there. That's what makes the chopper look really mean. Coming along pretty nicely. I thought this next part might be a little confusing to some, so I thought I would go ahead and lay it out. As you can see, this one and this one are the ones with the uh, three posts to connect. So you want your post on the outside, top and front. And then the middle one, it has a post on the top and a post in the back. This way, when you put it together, the one in the middle gets sandwiched between the others. You'll have it like that. Get them straight. Then you're going to take this. I guess I could put this, since I have it laying down, I can go ahead and put this here. 
Then on the top, you're going to want this going backwards so that the flat part is in the back here. And you can attach the other two. And these parts right here are for the axle. And check out the wheels. The wheels themselves, rubber treads. This is a nice touch. You got rubber treads for your tires. And these are going to pop on this outside part right here. So you're going to connect these like this. This one like this. And then later on, the wheels are going to pop onto the end of this axle right here. Now we have two completed sections and we'll just slide them together. I think you'll breeze through putting together the front forks. And here's where I put together one handlebar. You want the long part of this stud, this piece right here. You want the long part for his hands when he's riding. The short part is what's going to get put into this piece right here. These are the other part of the handlebars. Let's get them in. Straighten them out a little bit, I guess. I guess we'll adjust this when we get our character on the seat and we'll know where we want the handlebars to be. Let's go ahead and put on his wheels. Don't want to squeeze too hard. I don't want to crush my thing and have it all come apart. I don't know if it will or it won't. Hey, what a nice ride. I think you'll have no problem assembling this, the uh, gate here for telling them the people to stop. Piece of cake putting the parts together. There's where he's going to stop. And when it's ready to go, onward wherever you're going. Actually, it's nice that you can adjust it if you want them to stop when they come this way. Or if you want to have it going this way, you can put it either way you choose. Now for his chopper, it has steering capabilities. And you move this so he can steer left and right that's a nice touch rolls very smoothly let's go ahead and get bebop up on his ride oh his little legs don't quite oh they're just about almost wow they're just right there and you better hold on you really shouldn't have your weapon in your hand when you're driving but i guess uh i guess uh villains don't care let's go ahead and sit him down he's gonna hold on There you go. Very nice. Now let's get to the Moto Attack set with Rocksteady and Leo. While I was calling their bikes a chopper, the sets are called Moto Attack. Let's go ahead and open it up. Once again, I cut the tape just to make opening the boxes a little bit faster. Don't forget, you can go to this website right here if you'd like more information. Here's our dudes. I like that this part is put together already. That's probably because the uh, batteries are inside here. One bag, two bags, and of course, more stuff. Let's take a look at Rock Steady. Oh, sorry. I ripped off his head already. Get up. Rise and shine. Stretch. Oh, now get your head on. I love the details of these. They look fantastic. I like the colors. I like the articulation. These are, to be honest, these are the first uh, Mega Block sets that I have ever reviewed. I was not aware of all this articulation. Very, very nice. Now let's get Leo. Jump. Hey, there's this turtle shell. He rules the other half shell. There's this half shell. Let's see what comes off with him. Take off his head. Does his uh, half shell come off? I would think so. Maybe it pops off. Yep. Now the sunglasses are a separate piece, but they're really not intended to come off. They're only a separate piece for uh, coloration purposes. But once again, fantastic articulation all over the place. This way, when you want to play with your toys, you can uh, have some fun. Hey! -ya! The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, Out of the Shadow, is going to be coming out on June 3rd, 2016. 
I don't know if this is going to be in the movie, him hanging from a pole like this, or if it's to simulate something previously. It's a nice little accessory for him to hang around on. As you can see, he has a spot for his accessory in the back. He has an extra katana. I think that's the name of the blade. He has two katanas. He can hold them both in his hand, but when he's hanging around, he has a spot to put his extra. Now, as far as Brock Steady, same thing. He has a spot to put his club. He has a spot to put it right there. Uh, as opposed to Bebop, Bebop, I didn't notice. I didn't notice any place to put his weapon. So this is kind of neat to have his weapon uh, right there. Or he can drive. You can put it in his hand. Let's check out his horn. Which one do you like better? Do you like the uh, red horn or do you like the uh, yellow skull? It's kind of a tough choice. I like them both. But both of them, I like how they varied the colors to give it a unique look for each motorcycle. I think this is a kickstand right here. Let me see if I can get it to stand up on the carpet. But I think uh, my favorite, I, I think I like this three-wheeler. It stands a bit easier. It rolls nice. Oh, by the way, when you put on this back wheel, mine was sticking. And that's because I had it on backwards. I just turned it around, popped it back on. And now the wheels roll smoothly. Let me move this up a little bit. Now the wheels roll smoothly. Same with the front. Nice rolling wheels. Thanks a lot to Mattel for letting me take a look at their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, line for Mega Blocks. Uh, have fun with your toys and check them out if you like. I like them. I'm pretty happy to check them out. Nice articulation, great colors, and you get to spend time with your toy building them. It's like it's kind of special. You get to build it. It's yours. You built it. And don't forget to check the description for extra links. Bye-bye.